Have you ever wondered what the inside of a plug looks like? Well, I got a couple. Let me show you. So in one of my new videos, I actually took a bunch of LED shop lights that only came with plugs and I wanted to hardwire them into my ceiling. And I really wanted the lights, but I didn't want to install a bunch of plugs in my ceiling just to make this work. And I knew that I could actually cut this off and just hardwire them in myself. But I know a lot of people are afraid to cut plugs off because we don't know what's going on. There's, there's some type of magic going on right here. And what I want to show you guys is what the inside of this looks like and also what to expect when you cut the wires or when you cut the cord. You can see there's two little wires right there. In my other video when I install the uh, shop lights, I just show you what happens when you cut this off. But I want to show you guys what's actually happening inside the plug. And it's probably what you think. So let me show you what it looks like inside. We'll rip these things apart and get a good look. But real quick, if you haven't already, go ahead and click that subscribe button, hit the like button, it really helps me a lot. And it doesn't cost anything, just hit the subscribe button, helps me with my channel, I'd really appreciate it. Go ahead and do that right now, we'll get back to the video. So as you can see, the inside of these plugs are really not that complex. You know, here I was thinking that there was some type of magic going on, plug it into the wall and then all of a sudden this little wire just, something's happening here that I don't know. But literally, all they're doing is tying that wire with a little crimp or a clamp to this right here. So just like when you do your splices in the wire and you twist them together and you think it might not be that great of a connection, this is all that's going on inside these plugs anyways. So that's why it's okay that you can cut these plugs off and take your black and your white wire, your hot wire and your neutral wire, and you can wire these in, um, hard wire them into like your walls or a fixture in the ceiling. It's the same thing going on right here, except they just make it so that you can put it into your plug. Also, if you ever wonder which one goes to the big prong and which one goes to the small prong, you can see here, black one goes to the small and the white one goes to the larger one. So as you can see in this outlet, I have my black to the small, and I have my white to the large. So now you know exactly what's going on in there, and if you ever wanted to uh, wire something or hardwire something in, or maybe you wanted to wire in an actual plug and you didn't know which one goes to which, white goes to the larger, and the black goes to the smaller. Really easy. Nothing to be afraid of. Easy as that. And there you go. That's all it is. Just a simple little crimp on the wires goes to the plug. That's how simple it is inside here. There's nothing crazy going on. All this extra molding or plastic around it is just to help stabilize it really. 
give you something to grip and hold on to, but it's literally just like plugging the two wires into the socket, which I don't recommend, but that's what it's for. It's, it's just like that. So when you're hardwiring something in and you're twisting the wires together or you want to splice something together, I've always thought maybe the connection isn't as good as what's actually going on here and it's, it's, I'm going to lose something in the, in, the, you know, in the chain of the lights. It's not. This is exactly what's going on inside these plugs. There's nothing special. It's really simple and straightforward. So next time you want to wire something in or maybe you buy something with a plug and you think about wiring it in, uh, hard wiring it in, you can go ahead and cut that wire, use the two different wires inside. Hopefully they designate it black and white for you. And then if they do, now you know also that the white wire goes to the large prong and the black wire goes to the small one. Don't be afraid to do it. Try it yourself. It helped me with my shop lights and I was able to get the lights that I wanted and I was also able to install them the way that I wanted. See you guys in the next video.